What's up guys, welcome to your 23rd uh, Python tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to talk to you guys about different ways to test stuff. Now so far the only test I showed you guys is double equals to say that one thing is equal to another thing. But there's also um, different ways you can test and those include the less than sign like 9 is less than 7 which would give you false. Um, the greater than sign and of course just that's just that. You can also do the less than or equal sign, which is like 9 is less than, which is not, or equal to 9. It's not less than, but it is equal to, so it would be true. Um, you can do therefore greater equals to. And something um, that you guys might not know how the syntax goes is explanation point equals. And this means it's the opposite of this. Explanation point equals it means not equals to. So is nine not equal to three? It's true because it's not equal to three. What about nine not equal to nine? So anything besides itself would be true. So those are some different tests besides um, equals equals that we're going to be using to test numbers, strings, and stuff like that. So um, I'll repeat it again when I'm testing, but just be aware for now. Um, another thing. It, that people use a lot but is different is called the is operator now what the is operator is is a lot like the double equal sign but it's a little bit different say you have a list like 1 equals um, uh, 21, 22, 23 let's create that and we have list 2 which equals 21, 22, 23 now if you put 1 is equal to 2 it's going to come out as true because the list have the exact same value. But if we have 1 is 2, it's going to be false because the only way an is can be true is if it's the same object. So for example, you have 1 and um, equals, actually let's get some new variables, 3 and, oops, that's a new one, equals 4 equals a list of like three four five if you have three is four then that would be true never mind this that's a key that I accidentally hit so the only way an is would be true is if that they are actually the same object like this even though this and this have equal value once you put is it's not false because even though they're equal one is not actually two they're not actually the same object in um, on the subject of weird comparisons there's also the in we talked about earlier so say we have a variable called um, uh, pizza and set it equal to something called pizza hut and we can test using the in or uh, let me just show you guys say test for s in pizza and it's going to come across as false because the letter S is not anywhere in the value of pizza, which is Pizza Hut. But if we test it for something like P in pizza, come on keyboard, then it would be true because there is a P in Pizza Hut. So that is just what the in operator means. And um, that's just a different way where we can use to compare. And we can use it in if statements like. Um, get my cursor if P and pizza and that can actually be a test condition and then you can run a block of code right here so um, that's how you use in and is in test conditions such as like if statements and loops that we're gonna be learning later on and stuff like that so again those are some different ways to compare including the is operator and the in operator so uh, pay attention to those. We'll be using those a little later on. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next tutorial.